Okay, today we're going to talk about the new Windows 8 app interface. It used to be called Metro. Uh, it differs from your uh, old desktop because it uh, basically uses newly designed programs that occupy the full screen. If you remember, you go over here to your desktop and you can launch multiple programs here. There's a file explorer there. I can open up another copy of that. Uh, as many uh, copies of whatever program you want to run, uh, basically, we'll run our desktop simultaneously. Uh, you all know that the interface more than likely. Uh, what you may not know is that uh, you can do something similar in Windows 8 apps. For the most part, let's bring up the finance program. For the most part, they run a full screen interface. There's no windows here. There's no you know using those windows for uh, uh, multiple times, multiple purposes. Doesn't mean you can't run multiple programs. It just means that the display is not uh, split across the screen per se. But let's investigate that a little bit. Let's go and run another program like the weather. So now I have the weather uh, operating, but finance I had already launched, as you saw. Uh, we can go look at finance uh, a couple different ways. We can hit the Alt Tab key to just tab between the app running applications, okay? And so we can do that, okay? We can also go back to the desktop, or we can go to any one of the windows within the desktop, okay? But let's go back to the finance program. You can also do the Windows tab key, and you'll see just the, the Windows applications that you have running. Of course, this one desktop is another application, but then you have the weather over here. Let's uh, open up a couple more. Oops. Let's uh, let's open up a couple more. Let's open up the uh, calendar program. Uh, let's go ahead to run it. This is the version of Internet Explorer that runs full screen. Okay. So now we have, if we go down to the left bottom or top and we can get this list uh, by the way again the Windows tab key will bring this up as well but there's all your running programs if you click on finance for example there's the finance program so let's say I wanted to run two programs on the screen at the same time how do I do that if you gr grab with your thumb or your mouse you grab the program drag it to the left right or the left in this case I want it on the left there's the finance program which has reformulated itself into a view it believes you want to see which I do want to see the, the stock market let's say well let's say I wanted to go work on something else at the same time so uh, whether something doesn't change a lot uh, I probably only check it once a day but let's let's go over here and look at Internet Explorer so while this is running over on the left I can go look at sports I can uh, go back and look at news okay there's all sorts of things I can look at, uh, I can do on the uh, internet uh, because I'm looking at multiple applications running at the time while continuing to go to finance. I don't have to go back to the money site to see what the Dow is doing. It's over there. Uh, there may be other applications you want to do that. For example, let's say you wanted to, you had your calendar program that we talked about, right? So I want to, I want my calendar program to be over there. So I'm going to re I'm going <laughs> I'm going to replace it as my sidebar application. Okay, and there's the full screen. Okay, and then I want to go back to uh, uh, let's Internet Explorer. So now I have Internet Explorer running here and my calendar over here. Okay, and uh, I can watch things that way. So there's different uh, there's different ways you can do it. By the way, you can change your focus of which one's the focus by sliding that bar to the left or the right. By the way, you notice that Internet Explorer reformats itself into like a mobile type of format, a vertical format. Uh, let's say I, I'll close the calendar program. I'll bring up a different program. I'll go back to finance, for example. Now I have finance over here, and I have the uh, Internet Explorer over here. Again, I want to go back. I can slide it back that way. I can move this, by the way, back over to the right. If I decide I want to have it on the right, I just drag and move it over there. So that's how you split that screen. Uh, but you can also do one other thing, which is fairly exciting, is that you can run your other programs that you have running. You can have your desktop over here and have one of your Windows 8 apps. So that means those programs that you have running over here will still be running, and you can still monitor uh, whatever program, whether it's your mail, uh, the finance, or whatever. You can have that sidebar of menus over the, or of programs over there that lets you do your normal work over here and have your Windows 8 application over here. 
so it there is a limit to it if you're under the if you have two different uh, large screen apps there's only two that can split the screen you can't bring another one in over here on another b vertical bar like this on the left uh, while you have one on the right you know, you're really limited in that regard but other than that uh, you pretty much can do most anything especially that you can access the desktop there at the same time uh, nice little feature that you can have there in Windows 8